I am Mohammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing how can we connect to S3 bucket using program Python program language, and how can we fetch the S3 bucket, or how can we list the S3 buckets using Python program language. Okay. So um, here I am in AWS console. So first, what we need to do, we need to create a IAM user. Okay. So for that. We can search here IAM. So we we can see that there is a IAM is there. Okay. So click on this one. So here, what we need to do first, we can create a user group. Okay. Here, I'm going to click on create group. I'm going to give the S3 test group. Okay, now here we can add the permissions. So here I am going to add. I am going to search for S3 permissions here. Okay, so here we can see that Amazon S3 full access. So I am going to give the Amazon S3 full access to this particular group. So I have selected Amazon S3 full access. So we can expand this. Okay, so here we can see that um, how the Uh, the rule is rule has given. Okay, so yeah, here we have a create group button. So I'm going to create this. So it's created S3 test group. Now we can create a user. I'm going to have a click on the add user here. Add user. I am going to give S3 user, and I am going to select on access key, programmatic access only. Next, I am attaching this particular user to our S3 test group. Going to click on the next tag. Here, maybe I can give S3 demo. S3 demo user. Okay. So going to click on next button here. Okay. Okay. Now we can click on the create user. So we can download this one. Also, we need these two keys: access key and the secret key. Okay. Please ensure that you guys are downloaded this one, okay? So maybe let me copy and paste this also. Am I not bad? Okay, I also downloaded this one. Now, what we can do? We can. I have open Visual Studio Code here, okay? So what I am going to do, I am going to create a new environment. Okay. I am going to Python 3.8. So in my machine, I have installed Conda. So I am using that. It may take couple of seconds. Okay, so this is done. Now let me activate my environment. Conda activate environment name. Okay. Now we have activated the environment. Now what we need to do? We need to install Boto three. Okay, which is the Package that help us to connect with the S3 or like AWS different AWS operations. Okay. So what we can do? We can write pip install boto3. So 
So the installation is done. Okay. So now I am going to create a new Python file. Going to create connect and list dot py. Okay. So now what we need to do? We need to import Boto three here. Now let me change my environment here. So this is the environment. Okay. So this is the environment uh, should be working. Okay, it's Boto three. Okay, now we need to create a client. Okay, we have to say Boto three dot client. Now we need to mention the service that is S three service. Okay, now we have to mention the access key and the secret key. AWS. To mention AWS access key ID. Okay, now AWS secret access key. So, so these are the two keys that we have saved from the AWS console. Okay, so this is the my AWS access key, and uh, this is my AWS secret access key. Thing is spelling is wrong. AWS secret access key. Okay. Now, what we can do? We can write response is equal to client dot list bucket. Okay. Now we can try to print this response. We can see. What it will return? Okay. So here I am going to write Python connect list dot py. Okay, something went wrong. I think list buckets here. See, here we are getting the some metadata. And you can see that we are getting the bucket name here. Okay, this is in a JSON format. So what I can do, we can loop through the bucket. Response. Buckets. Print bucket. Okay. So now we can run this. Okay. Now let me comment this. This is no need for us. Let me run it again. Okay. So we can see that it is actually listing bucket name that is in my account. So I will show you that in the AWS console. So here they are listing like name, created date. And here also like name and created date. So what we need, we need only the name. So we can select only the name. Now let me run here. Okay. So now it is listing three S3 buckets. Okay, from my account. So let me go to that AWS console. We can go to that services. Can look into S3 bucket. Okay. Here we can see. Here we can see there are three S3 buckets are there. The same three we can see here. Okay. Maybe we can try to add one more. Let me create one. Click on create. I can add my test one two three. This should be unique. I will change to the Virginia region. Now let me create the bucket. Uh, this is already exist. Okay, so now it is creating. Okay, so now we have four buckets are there. Let me come here. Let me try to run this. Okay, see now it is showing the 
for buckets are showing okay so that is all in this video so in our coming video we can see how can we create a bucket using python programming language and uh, we can also see like how can you upload different files to the s3 bucket so all those things we can see in our coming videos okay please do like and subscribe i hope this video help, helpful for you guys thank you very much for watching my video have a nice day bye bye